with Sri. My name is Sri Vidya Santosh and through this channel you get information about the higher education courses as well as the premium institutes. In this episode I am going to discuss about Indian Institute of Science IISC which is located in Bangalore. IISC, why is IISC so important or prominent? I would say all the students who are aspiring to become a scientist who are aspiring to get into the research field should definitely know about this institution which is called Indian Institute of Science. NIRF ranking. Have you ever heard about this? NIRF is National Institute of Ranking Framework. Why is this so important? If you ever want to know how good a university is in India, then you have to check the NIRF ranking, which is provided by the central government. Okay, so NIRF ranking in the year 2021, if you check the university ranking, the first one that came in the list was none other than IISC, which is Indian Institute of Science. And also in the category of research, the first university to come up was none other than IISC. So I think you would have already understood how important or how prominent IISC is. Now, let us look about the undergraduate programs in IISC. IISC has got many other programs too, but in this video, I am going to explain about the undergraduate programs that are provided by IISC. There are basically two programs at IISC. One is the Bachelor of Science program, Research. And the second one is BTEC in Mathematics and Computing. I am going to explain you in detail about what these courses are as well as the eligibility criteria, entrance examination, fee structures, scholarships and everything as such. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end to get the overall idea about IIS. Let's get into the first program which is called Bachelor of Science. It's a research program, Bachelor of Science Research. Fine. The duration of the program is four years. Basically, you'll think every BSc program is sort of three years, right? But here, when you do a Bachelor of Science program in research, specifically at IISC, the program is four years. And I think uh, like mostly all of the programs which are like bachelors will soon move into a four year format. Okay. But as of now here, this is a four year program plus you should look into the number of seats that are available here. See, it is 137 seats for the Bachelor of Science program. Don't stop watching the video thinking it's just 137 seats and I'm not going to get through this. Never. If you can put hard work, if you can work efficiently for getting a seat in this institute, you can. Don't ever think that the number of seats are very less. So it's not my cup of tea. I can't get it. Never, never ever think like that. Okay. Now, when you do this program, which is called Bachelor of Science Research, you actually this program has got a flavor of engineering as well as see it has got an exposure to the social science disciplines so you may think what has engineering to do with this program or what is humanities to do with this program you should always understand that whenever you get into research you need to know how the society works you need to know how the human mind works, right? So you need to have a little of idea in humanities or social sciences subject. So see, in this program, which is provided by the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore, they are also providing you insights about humanities, which will actually help you in your career. Now, let us look into the course pattern. First one and a half years, that is three semesters, right? One, two and three semesters. You are getting into the core courses in physics, mathematics, chemistry, biology, engineering and humanities. That means even though they are providing various specialization programs in this four years, the first one and a half years, even if you want to take any sort of specialization, you are going to go through the same program which will give you the core courses in physics, mathematics, chemistry, biology, engineering and humanities. Now, after this one and a half years, that's after the first three semesters, what is going to happen? That is where you specialize. The fourth, fifth and sixth 
semesters, that's the next one and a half years, you do specialization plus electives from subjects that are other than this specialization. So you may be thinking, what are the specialization subjects available? I'll explain that to you in detail, okay? Now, as of now, you please understand that the second one and a half years, that is semester four, five, and six, you're gonna specialize in some subject, some subject as well as you're gonna um, do some sort of electives from subjects that is other than this specialization. Next, you have like one more year, right? The first one and a half years, the next one and a half years, that makes it three years. Then there is one more year. This one more year is gonna be your seventh and eighth semester. Now that seventh and eighth semester is a research oriented project, okay? Now what are the specializations that are available? See, you have physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, materials, earth and environmental science. These are the specializations that are available in IISC. I think like um, you may be familiar with what physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, and even like earth and environmental science, you may understand what it is. But materials, some of the kids may get confused. What is this materials? What do you learn in that? Like, or why should you learn materials as a specialization? Okay. Now in materials, obviously you need to know the material behavior. Also, maybe like you will learn atomic bonding or a little of thermodynamics is very important when you learn these sort of things, right? Basically, it is all about modeling, okay? As well as designing, and um, I would also put it this way, processing of materials, okay? So it is modeling, designing, and processing of materials. All these things you will be learning in the specialization, which is called materials, okay? So you have these many specializations that are available in IISC if you are taking up a bachelor program, which I am discussing right now, fine? Now also understand 30% of the courses from other streams. You can take also 30% of courses from the other streams. And if you're taking those courses, it will definitely be shown in your transcript. Now, this is a four year course. If you want to take up a master degree from the same institute, you can spend one more year there. Okay, so that makes it four plus one, five. Spending one more year, you get a master degree. Normally, we all think like, okay, master degree is a two year program, right? So after completing any bachelor's degree, we have to spend two more years for completing a master degree. But here, you have to spend only one more year to become a master degree holder. Now, what is the master degree that you're gonna get? You are gonna get a master of science degree. So five years, if you could spend at IISC, you will get a master of science degree. Now, what is the eligibility criteria for getting into IISC? If you want to get into IISC, in the 10 plus two, you have to study physics, chemistry, and mathematics. So PCM is mandatory. The humanities and commerce students can't get into IISC. And even if you are a science student, it is not uh, like physics, chemistry, bio, and computer science, because like a lot of children take up that option too. But here it is mandatory that you should have learned physics, chemistry, and mathematics in your plus one and plus two. And also, if you belong to the general category, you should get first class or 60% or equivalent grade. That is the eligibility criteria that they have set. And if you belong to SCST category, you just require a pass mark for getting into SES, uh, this uh, IISC Institute, okay? Now, entry examinations. What are the different modes through which you can get into IISC? There are different entrance examinations that you can get. And with that score, you can get an admission in IISC. The first one is JE Main, the second is JE Advanced, the third one is NEET, which is the UG exam for getting into the medical courses, and then comes the KBPY. Uh, I think I need not explain in detail about what JE Main and JE Advanced is because like a lot of people know what it is. And if you don't know, like send me comments in this video so that like I can make a separate video on what JE is so that you have a clear idea about JE main examination and advanced examination. Now another method through which you can get into IISC is NEET exam. So that is where you may get a little confused because the eligibility criteria for getting into uh, for writing the NEET examination is basically like physics, chemistry, bio, right? Like you need PCB. But here IISC clearly says 
for getting into their courses they require physics chemistry and mathematics so please don't get confused thinking that if you have taken physics chemistry bio and not math for your plus 1 and plus 2 just by writing neat ug you can get into ias no nah, it's not like that it's still a little different see there will be some children who has taken like physics chemistry math and biology right those kids become eligible to write the neat examination but they have also studied mathematics for their plus 1 and plus 2 got me those students can actually take up this particular um exam called neat and with that score they can get into the iisc got it now the fourth option is kvpy and what is kvpy kvpy is a scholarship examination do you know what clearly kvpy is if you don't know send in us comments so that like i can make a separate video which clearly explains what kvpy examination is kvpy is an exam which you can write even while you're doing a plus 1 or like plus 2 there are various streams to it okay so basically like uh, for getting in here you can either write in your plus 1 not plus 2 and there are some other things also but this would be the most popular things right and after that with that score you can get into IIS so these are the entry examinations that will help you to get into this particular course in IIS let's look at the fee structure now this is something very interesting see for the general category students the total annual tuition fee is 10000 rupees just 10000 rupees is the annual tuition fee for studying in IIS even if you belong to a general category now other than that there are some other fees but like if you add it up also i would say it is very less compared to many other institutes in india and on top of it okay i think for the cake you know what it is you have also got chances for getting scholarships wherein like monthly you will be paid fine so fee structure is also less and on top of it you're going to get scholarship how can you get into the institute just focus on this like entry examination study properly it is not going to be a herculean task for those people who prepare properly from plus 1 okay now let's look at the fee structure for scst candidates for scst candidates the tuition fee is like totally waived general category i said it's like 10000 rupees which is the annual tuition fee but here that is like sort of fully waived for the scst category Now let's look into the second course. I told you that there like are two programs in IIS. All this time I was explaining about the first program. Now the second program that they offer for students who have completed plus two is B Tech in Mathematics and Computing. Again, it's a four-year program. The total number of seats is fifty-two, and in fifty-two seats, like here you can see that like there is a, a clear-cut. number specification which i have given which is like 40 plus 8 plus 4 that's nothing other than like there are some seats which are reserved for certain category of students that is why this categorization has happened now what are you going to study in btec in mathematics and computing you will learn artificial intelligence machine learning data science quantum computing computational biology all these things are going to come into play when you do this course from IIS okay and even after you come out of this course you have opportunities for getting into any of these sectors and more if you complete this program now what is the eligibility here the eligibility is again physics chemistry and mathematics but along with that they are clearly saying that a language should be there which will obviously be there right and uh, any subject other than the above four that means the student should also have studied one more subject that is also like a very normal thing even if you take like cbsc that comes like that but there are certain other boards wherein like you can skip one subject so there it becomes difficult for those sort of students other than that like everybody goes through this scheme only like they all study this many number of subjects and languages and then what is the entry exam here the entry exam is different see for getting into the other program which was bachelor of science in research you had like four different entry examinations you could write je main je advanced and it was there kvp was kvpy was there but here the entry exam is like see it is jee advanced you only have like one entry examination for getting into this program and same like the other program 
If you spend one more year in the same institute, here you're gonna get an M Tech degree. Okay, so spend one more year, that means like five years, you're gonna get an M Tech degree. Think of doing your engineering from a normal college, okay? So there you have four years of uh, B.Tech and if you come out and uh, if you plan to do an M.Tech program, what is going to happen? Four years of B.Tech plus two years of M.Tech. That makes it like six years. Here in five years, you're going to be a M.Tech holder. That is another speciality of this program. So these are the programs that are offered in undergraduate level for from IISC, which is Indian Institute of Science. Let me tell you one thing very clearly. Those students who aspire to become scientists, who plan to get into the research field, please, please and please, you understand about this courses which are provided in IISC because you don't have to pay so much from your pocket, right? when you have opportunity to study courses free of cost, where you don't have to depend on your parents, where you don't have to put a lot of financial burden on them. Why can't you do it, my dear children? Okay, so please have a look into this program and prepare accordingly. And let me also remind you about one thing that after doing this program from IISC, there are a lot of children who even go abroad and do their PhD. Some do it in India also, but like, a lot of kids um, see the foreign countries as an opportunity for doing PhD and also like earning money from there. So that's all something which you have to think like what you have to do after that. Basically, after doing the four year of program, BSc program of like Bachelor of Science in Research, they directly get into the integrated programs wherein they will get the PhD also. So a lot of higher education options are also available from these Courses. So hope you got a clear idea about what IISC is and how you have to prepare for this program. If you have any other confusions regarding this particular program in IISC, please make sure that you put in all your queries as comments in this video. Also, could you please let me know what are the different institutes, courses which you would like to know? Because I know that there are a lot of confusion when it comes to higher education especially right after plus or so many courses and the internet is bombarded with information right so what are those specific things that you would like to know i would like to help you see you in the next video goodbye